Here's an example of what it would look like to work on some homework problems in my math lab. Some of the problems might be multiple choice, so I would read this statement and then select the correct answer. The multiplication property of equality, okay, so it's a multiplication property, states that if A equals B, then A times C equals B times C. That's the multiplication property. Now it says final check down here at the bottom because um, multiplication, I'm sorry, multiple choice problems only have one uh, try, one attempt. But well done. And then it just tells me more about the multiplication property. So I got that one correct. Let's go on to the next one. Uh, this one's also multiple choice. So let me look at the choices here. The equation 5 sevenths e x equals 24 can be solved by, okay, um, well, since I would want to divide by 5 sevenths, and dividing is the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal, I'm going to look for that option. Multiply by the reciprocal. The reciprocal is 7 fifths, so that should be my correct answer. All right, nice. And let's look for a question that's not multiple choice. There we go. So to solve a question that's not multiple choice, you're going to do your work on paper, and then you're going to type your answer in. So I've already worked this one out right here. What I would do is divide by 5 on both sides, and I'm going to come up with the solution of negative 9, and I will type that in. You can hit the Enter key or click the Check Answer button. Okay, so that one's correct. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, and this one, uh, let's say I've already worked it out, and I got an answer of negative 4. Okay, now that's not the right answer, so it's going to give me a little bit of direction here. Recall the multiplication property states um, that you can multiply both sides of the equation by the same number, or divide both sides of the equation by the same number. It's just kind of trying to give me a little bit of direction right here as to what I was supposed to do. What I was supposed to do was to divide both sides by 8 and then simplify. So I'm like, okay, let me try that again. I'm going to get it wrong again. I'm going to say 28, negative 28. Now that's wrong because it's not reduced, right? So this time it says, although your answer is equal to the correct answer, it's not in the correct form. Okay, so it's giving me a hint that, yes, it's right, but it's not done. So I'm going to simplify it just a little bit. Really, I could divide these both by 4. Let's say I didn't realize that, and I'm just going to divide them by 2. This is also incorrect. That was my third try. On my third try, I, I'm out of tries. I, I get a notice that this is what the correct answer should have been, that's what my answer was, and it's just not right. Okay, so once I get an answer wrong for the third try, it's wrong, and I have a zero for that question, which is not acceptable. I want to get all my points, so I'm going to do a similar exercise. I'm going to get this one right this time. So it's negative 14 divided by 6. Remember, we're going to divide both sides by 6 here. Negative 14 divided by 6. And this time, I'm going to be smart and divide them both by 2 right away. And it's correct. Notice my red X up here from getting this one wrong is going to vanish when I say OK. Now I've got full points for that question. So it's OK to do a similar exercise for any of the questions you get wrong. And if you get the similar problem right, you'll get the question correct. All right, let's go on to the next one. If you ever come across a question that you're not sure how to answer, you can view an example, watch a video on that topic, view the textbook, connect to a Pearson tutor, a tutor that works for the company who makes my math lab, or you can ask the instructor for your course. Okay, So these resources are really handy if you run into a question that you're not sure how to solve. Okay. Just go through all of the questions in the homework assignment, and when you're done, click Save and exit back to the main screen so you can start the next assignment.